Hi, David is here from Karma. Today I'm going to show you how to set up our product correctly. So we get a lot of questions that people ask us how to set up Karma, how to make it work for my company. And they'll always say that there's no two similar companies that will use our product the same way. There are still some guidelines and there's still some rules that you can set up in place in order to set our product for a success and also make a daily appreciation and recognition a habit in your company and thus improve the company culture. So where to start? Well, first of all, if you installed our product, I'd recommend to drive to settings first. In settings, you'd be able to see quite a lot of settings on the left-hand side. It's a lot of options. If you're at the settings screen, you can see notifications only. That means you're not an admin or you're not a moderator in your company. That means that you can either get in contact with them to make sure that you moderate or administrate within our product, or you can get in contact with the team at Karma and find out who's administrator in your tenant. And the easiest and quickest way to get hold of us would be just clicking on this face right there, it's my face, and type in a short message. And in, if you'll have a lot of questions, if you have any questions, just make sure that you get in contact with us. And the easiest way of doing that is just using our chat system from Teams. So where to start? Well, first of all, I'd recommend if you like to utilize rewards, if you'd like to utilize the company values and all the other features we have in our product, I recommend you set up the limit for maximum karma per request. That makes the whole use of a product a bit more formal. I'd recommend just to leave it somewhere around one and two, so we just leave it one. So what that means is every time the karma will be given out, the maximum points per request will be just one point. You can leave it empty. In that case, people can give each other hundreds and thousands, which isn't a bad thing, but that makes the use of a product a bit informal. So the next thing you'd like to do is just to leave on this mandatory karma description. You can turn it off, but in that case, you'd lose that valuable data that you can get out of the karma description. And we utilize the natural language process and some machine learning to link the karma description to the company values. So just please leave that on, and that'll mean that people, when they'll give karma out, they'll have to type a small description, like in this, like in this example right there. The next thing you'd like to do is just to type your own rules in the company and utilize the karma bot mantra. What that means is Every time a person would like to know how to use the product within the company, they can type mantra when they talk to the bot, and mantra will return back, having some rules and guidelines of, of the product in your company. You, you, you do security contact, you do billing contact, and then you can move to permissions. And permissions, you make sure that you either have everyone or just administrators and moderators who are going to request karma, and that again comes down to your particular company and your particular needs. Also, just make sure that you sort out the auto proof process. If you turn it on, that every point that would be given in your tenant would be would need to go through a process of approval. If you'll turn that off, they'll be approved automatically. The next thing you'd like to do is just to go to roles and make sure that the right people have the right access. You can, you can check who is the user, moderator, or administrator in your tenant, and just to make sure that users have the right amount of access. And this is really important. So you can you can just change it right there. The next thing I'd like you to do is just go to values. Values is something that is in the core of our product. We like to have every appreciation and recognition be linked to company values. If you don't have a company values, that's fine. You can utilize our own. So we have goals, we have above and beyond teamwork, reliability and communications as our preset values. But if you'd like to use your own, then just remove all of the values you have here and add your own values right there. You can add as many as you like. The next thing I'd like you to do is just to go to the reward section and add some rewards. You really want to start maybe small and add some rewards like gift cards or free coffees, but just to make sure that people can redeem those karma coins and change them for some meaningful rewards and they can take that process in their own hands and get a reward, not, not when the management would ask them to get a reward, but when they feel like it. I really think that is a good value in our product around rewards. So just make sure that you add some rewards, add the price for that reward, and make sure that people can redeem those rewards. 
You can also check your billing info just to make sure that your credit card is in place for a subscription as Karma Wood is a paid product. And the last thing I'd like you to check would be notifications. And then notifications, if you don't like to receive notifications from the board, you can mute them all. But in that case, you need to check, obviously, conversation with the board frequently just to make sure that you didn't miss a valuable information there. But this option is right there and you can utilize it as you like. I think that's about it for the quick guide and I'll um, do more videos about the Karma and rewards and profile sections and how you can use those features in your company. And so please subscribe to our channel and uh, keep an eye on those new videos coming up. Other than that, have a great day. Keep giving Karma around and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.